Hello everyone and welcome to another Angular tutorial with me Babatane. In today's tutorial you will learn how to build a reusable input component. In my previous video we learned how to build a reusable reactive form like a form. If you haven't checked this out yet make sure you do I'll drop a link to the video in the description below. Basically I talked about the technique Angular uses in sending data from parent to child component and vice versa. Essentially communication between components. So why would you want to build <coughs> a reusable input component? Number one, it saves time. That means getting the app done faster, thereby shortening development time. Number two, it is efficient and you can easily test the component. With that being said, let's dive in and code. Right off the bat here, we have our hub components, which are HTML. So inside this div, we are going to create our form. So to do that, just tap the form tag and close it like so. Okay. So in our form tag, we want to bind um, by property bandy um, a variable in our app that's company dot ts called form data. So we need to do the form group and then bind it to this property form data. And then we get to another binding, but this time around is an events binding, um, ng submit, and we are going to bind it to a method in our app component.ts called on submit, which takes a parameter of form data, okay, dot value. Normally we would have our input here. Okay, but since we are building a reusable input component, we don't need this. So we'll build the input component and then bring it here. Okay. Um, so we're done with this for now. Let's go to the app component of TS. Here we are going to call a variable form data of type form group, like so. And inside the engine all we need, I'm going to add a method here, create form, and create the method down here create form like so so we take this form data it's a custom new form group all right then objects so in here we just have a little space down here okay so we're going to add first we need the username all right the username control empty at first then we need two sets of validators number one need validator dot required and we need another one called validators dot minimum length we're going to make this five okay nice the second one is first name okay same thing new form form control all right set it empty at first then add our validators for this we need validators that are required we need um, a minimum length so validators the minimum length if you want if you want to do maximum length you just do validators of maximum length so for this we can to add same all right lastly we need a last name okay same thing uniform control all right set it to empty Validators that require, <coughs> and we do validators dot minimum length of ten. Okay, so we add a comma here. Okay, nicely done. So we need to add. Uh, ng submit here so we do on submit form for now we just need to console.log the form okay pretty much done with this so let's go over here and create 
our reusable input form. To do that, I'm just going to right click Angular Generator, a component, I'm going to call this input. For our input, I'm just going to create a div and I'm going to add a class here for styling. Call this class the form group. Right. Then so we need a label. I'm going to add a label here. And for now, let's just say that's name. Okay, close the label. Then we need our input. So call input here. Input. Let me close this. So for input. The way we're going to do this is by adding a property. We're going to bind the property called form control to this. We're going to add the form control here. And you're going to give it control. Then type. You're going to give it of type. Then place order. placeholder then we want this to be required so we put required here um, we also need to add a property called read only and this is optional so read only here okay nice so we go over to our input component.ts and right here we are going to call our input decorator input so control of type form control the other one um, Input type input of type label of type string and we initialize this to empty another input and type string as well. We initialize this to text. Okay. Then we have our placeholder. Place order string at input again. Place order required. Make it a boolean because it's false. Initialize it to false at first. Set it to false at first. Then we do input read only. Do boolean. Do you want it to be read only yes or no? That kind of stuff. Okay. Um, set this on to false. All right. So we need to display errors for our input. Um, since we already have label now, I can set this to label by interpolation okay to add our errors we're going to create a container an ng container and we're going to close this that's container okay so we need a method okay so and before that let's just add what we want here so we're going to create a div here and ng if directive So we do control dot errors dot required. 
okay if that's the case you want to send a message this is going to be reusable right the value is required like so okay do another div because we have one that has minimum length so so for this one we want to do ng if the control dot errors dot min length so check if the errors check the errors and if there is one that contains minimum length or minimum length we want to display a message as well so we say this value has okay very important this value has this var string interpolation this value has control dot errors dot meaning length dot actual length capital letter l very important okay but must be at least okay control dot errors dot minimum dot required like so okay so we need to add a display error Error. So we're going to destructure this def dot error equals to this dot control. Then we're going to return daddy. like so all right so what do we have here we have our control we have our label we have our type we have our placeholder um, required read only and all of that so pretty much done with our input I just had a little bit of style into this um, we have a form group there so so class form group and we just want the margin bottom to be one run that's it and we're done with this okay so remember in your hub module.cs to call the reactive forms module if you are building a reactive form you need to import the reactive forms module in the ng module decorator okay and Let's go over to our app component.html and call our input. So to do that, I'll call app input. That is the name of our input right here. So the name is app input. Okay. So app dash input. And I'm going to close this okay we need our label our label is going to be username and we need a placeholder Please enter username. We need the type, so type text, and we want it to be required. Let's set it to true, and the 
control would be new. Form data dot get username. Make sure. Okay. So we have our label. We have a placeholder, we have our type of type text, and we have our control. This control is coming from our app company and so we are trying we're trying to get the username. So we do form data dot username dot get username like this. So we have it here form data dot get the username. So I'm going to duplicate this, and for this I'm going to call it first name. All right, please enter first name, and this is of type text also. And we want to get first name, so use username. So we have an area app input is not a known element. So let's go to our app modules and we call it input components. All right, like so. So we have it there. So let's come here. So first, so we have another error. Okay, pass an error missing at the end of the expression username. Mm. Okay, nice. So we have uh, first username and let's change this uh, username okay cool and just add a p tag here okay all right we have our username first name and we need a last name so i'm going to copy this and paste it right here call this last name and please enter last name of type text and if it's wired it's true you can do false like so but you want to make it true okay and we do last name here according to the form control that we have here username first name last name like so it has to be exactly the same or you're gonna get an error okay all right so let's add our button we're going to add a div here for that for our button we need our button tag and we're going to call this submit okay so with angular we can do the disabled disabled if the form data is invalid form data which form data the form data here which is tied to the property form group okay and that's it so if i do peter09 or peter90 and harry sin we do wells wells09 we can see that the submit button is active so if i click on submit I have my data in the console. So the first name, the last name, and the username. All right. And so that's it. That's how you build a reusable input component that you can use anywhere in your application. Okay, guys, um, that's all. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Drop your comments and let me know what you want to see next. And uh, catch you on the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.